regarding uh, when we talk about violence against medical profession. I want to come back with one very solid, brave statement of IMA. That Indian Medical Association and the medical profession is not against accountability. If you feel that you have a grudges against us, you have a lot to follow. But you cannot take law in your hands. That's not allowed anywhere. Anywhere. You cannot, unless you can only take law in your hand to save yourself. That means if you are in, it, in, in it, to save yourself or to save somebody in an emergent situation only, you can take law in your hand. Even as a doctor, without a consent, I cannot treat you. I cannot treat a patient. But no consent is required if it is life-saving. In a non-life-saving emergent conditions, nobody can take law in their hands. I, medical professional, have no right to refuse treatment in emergency. I have no right to keep a body in the hospital for non-payment. I have no right to keep you as a hostage in the, in the hospital premises if you are not paying. That's a civil dispute. If you don't pay, there is a remedy available. I must go to recovery and file a suit for recovery. No way I can. Similarly, similarly, if you are not happy with the treatment, you have mechanisms available. Public has mechanisms available. They can go to state medical council, they can go to the hospital grievance cell to ask for an inquiry. There are mechanisms available. They can go to the, the, the uh, 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 they can go to Medical Council of India. There are so many mechanisms available, but you cannot take law on your hand. This, why people are taking law on their hand? Because the today's society, there is, this is the society of road rage. We everywhere, we are fighting with each other. So on a simple road rage, we are killing people, we are hitting people, no. We are abusing people, no. The society needs to change. You need to understand, and we also need to understand, there is a paradigm shift in the society. And this paradigm shift is from a non-information stage, it has gone to an information stage quite rapidly. Today is a Google age. We were, we were, we became MBBS, we studied, and we are following a system where we are trained to take decisions on behalf of the public. That era is gone. Today, public wants to take decisions. So therefore, we have to give choices to the people. Earlier, I used to decide whether CT scan is required or not. Today, I need to tell the person that if, what are your chances of having a tumor? One in 10,000, one in 50,000, and let the public choice whether they want an investigation or not. Today, public want investigations, drugs, treatment, everything they want to know in great detail. Unfortunately, the government policies have not gone into a paradigm shift. That paradigm shift of the government is, government is responsible for providing free primary care, free emergent care, and free insurance for two people who can't afford, and free emergent care to everybody who can't afford. That's government's responsibility, but government can't afford. There are not enough number of doctors who can take place, who can treat these patients. I don't, doctors don't have today time for more than of 20 minutes to explain everything. And that paradigm shift is causing a misfit in the society. Today, India has been divided into two Indias, Bharat and India. The India, who are educated one, who are having a smartphone on their hand, and who can go to the doctor and simultaneously examine whether the doctor is talking about rational and the guidelines or not, and then Bhartiya, which are poor people who don't know what to do. The case came in the Supreme Court, and this was a classical Samira Kohli case, where the Supreme Court judges decided that India is not ripe enough to follow as a, 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 a Cantwell's uh, consent. They said, still we should follow the real consent of Golems, but a time will come when everybody will be educated, when we need to tell rare of the rare things to the person. As of today, to a Bharatiya population, we are giving them less information compared to an Indian population who wants to know everything, but can we afford that? 
do we have so much time do we have so many doctors do we have uh, so many healthcare providers the answer is no because the government cannot provide free treatment to everybody preventive treatment because the government cannot provide free emergent care to everybody these people have no other choice than to go to the doctors and being doctors we cannot refuse though i can though legally i can i have the right to choose the patients but in an emergent situation i cannot when i cannot i am overburdened if i am overburdened i am bound to make mistakes and bound to my patients are bound to get uh, uh, dissatisfied so at least if the government cannot do if the government cannot provide free treatment to the people primary care if the government cannot provide free emergent care like a member of parliament like a, uh, a pilot on the plane at least government can provide me some law to protect me while working that's what we are asking for give us a law to protect me while working i am not asking give me protection when i am having the going in a restaurant for a dining when i am walking in the morning but why at work like a person if he if he uh, misbehaves with a, a air of stress on the plane is immediately arrested the law should be so stringent that people better to take law in their hand when they are getting treated by a medical professional so the only thing we want at indian medical association is a different law to protect medical doctors while on duty and it is not for protection of the doctors because if the doctor is beaten or obstructed by his work then he will not be able to treat the second patient and the second patient will suffer because doctor needs a relaxed mind to suffer and all these bureaucrats if this video happens to go to them remember the all the bureaucrats all the member of parliaments and all the police officers have that immunity available you cannot obstruct the work of a public servant you cannot obstruct the work of a bureaucrat i only want to add please add me into that list so that my work is not obstructed my job is to heal other patients if you obstruct my work some patient will die because of uh, my mindset because i will not be in a mindset to treat the patient